Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Vikas here and in today's session I will be demonstrating about uh, installation of Docker, uh, installation of Ansible over Docker container. So in this uh, project what we are trying to achieve, let me go through, walk you through that. So first we have to create one EC2 instance here and on the EC2 instance we will uh, install Docker so that we could be able to create Docker container. So basically we are creating here two containers. Uh, the image I will be using here that is uh, Ubuntu latest image. Okay, so once you will install the Docker over that uh, this uh, Docker host or EC2 instance, you will be able to create these two. So I will create one Ansible master and I will create one Ansible node. So once you will create, uh, you you will have to make SSH connection to the node right for the Ansible. So we will uh, do that also. So let's go ahead and let's uh, create one EC2 instance so okay so I'm ready with my EC2 instance here you can see this is the docker host I have created let me log into my server so once I have logged in it will ask me the username so I have provided the username here okay so once this is done just be a super user so I am a super user now so some of the tools so let me go ahead and let me execute uh, uh, sorry a cell script for the docker so that uh, we will be able to create uh, containers okay so this is not a big deal you can do that so let me go ahead and let me execute a cell script i have that is okay so i'm going to install the cell script so that it will install docker over this ec2 instance so let's wait until this is done so once this is done let's uh, clear the screen let's check the docker version okay so we have got our docker so let's check do we have any containers so basically this is a new so actually we don't have any containers right docker okay so we do not have any running container right now so oh, let me go ahead and let me create two containers so that we could be able to configure master ansible and master uh, sorry ansible node right so how to create a container so just type the command docker run it so let me uh, run it into a detached mode so it will be kept keep on running in the behind so let me set the name of the server what is the name of the container as per our requirement that is ansible master okay so what type of image i'm going to use as i have told you i will use ubuntu latest image so if you have if you want to use any specific image you can just put a tag here after the colon so if you will not put the colon it will basically pull the latest image of the one two so that is fine for me okay after that let's keep it in bash mode so when it is unable to find the image locally so it is trying to pull the image from the docker hub so okay so the first ansible master is ready so let's uh, rerun the command and uh, let's create uh, one more container that is node right uh, this time ansible node we are creating just hit enter so uh, okay so we are running basically both the container in detached mode so it uh, should be kept on running right so let's check so this is docker container ls so it is you can see it is it has been created 11 second ago and the status uh, status is running right here okay so this is fine now our task is to uh, configure ansible right so that uh, we can ping this uh, node from the sensible master right so for that in containers we have to basically uh, uh, install download and install some of the tools so let me go ahead and let me install all of the tools whatever is required okay so let's go ahead and let's uh, let's uh, get uh, enter into the uh, ansible master so let me type the command docker container Attach and this is our container ID of the Ansible master. Okay, so once you are in, okay, so let's go ahead and let's install some of the package. Let's update it first and then apt install. 
python 2 and python is necessary for the installation of the ansible that is a required package along with python 2 we have we need ansible and we need open ssh and then just hit enter okay so let me check okay so that is a typo here please make sure that you are writing it correct update now just hit enter and let's wait until this is done so once this is done you just you just have to install one more package that is up to get, that is ip utils ping so that we would be able to ping both of the containers so just hit enter so once this is done so uh, okay so this master server has been uh, ready with all the things whatever is required so let me go ahead and let me check one important thing so just come out of this container so how to come out of this container without ex exiting right so just press ctrl p and q okay so this will help you to not to get exit right so if you write exit and you, your container will stop at that time but we don't want that so you can check here docker container ls so you can see the master is running here right if you will write exit it will uh, switch off that time itself okay so now our task is the important task what i was telling you so we have to check right so by default whenever you are creating a container so it will be get attached to a bridge network that is by default present so let's go ahead and let's check docker so if you are not having any uh, custom network so it will by default uh, while creating a docker container it will create a docker bridge here it is a network so by default all the container you will create the containers will be get attached to this uh, default network bridge okay so uh, if you have multiple custom networks so that time you have to check either the container you are creating that is getting attached to the same bridge network or not so in our case we do not have any uh, custom network so it should be present inside the same network bridge right so okay so let's go ahead and let's check docker network inspect and which network you want to inspect so that you can see your all the container should be there so you can see this is the container so section and here you can see your this is the node and this is the master here right so okay so both are in the same network right so that is fine so we can achieve it right if they are both in same so once this is done so just make sure that you are remembering the node ip here okay so let me go ahead and let me uh, take this ip oh the, what is this okay just copy this ip okay so docker container ls okay so just go to the master and uh, try to uh, provide the ip in the ansible host right so that we will be able to ping once we will enter the ip we will go for the uh, ansible node okay and then we will configure so let's go ahead and let's uh, configure the ansible node first right then we can do that no problem what are the tools required we can install there also container attach and the id of the node so this is our node let's get attached to it and once we are inside the node we have to install some of the package so let's me first update the apt after that let install these are the things like you require a vim you require ssh you require python so by default in my system python 2 is present right so that's why i'm installing this you can go ahead and check for you what version is required okay say so once this is done okay applicate 
again I mistook this so once this is done let's uh, wait until this is done let's change check take a reason this is my reason and let's go for some option so once we are ready with uh, uh, tools installation both of the ansible master and node okay so let's go ahead and let's start uh, configuring this node right we have to uh, ssh from master to the node right so what you have to do like uh, once you will try to ssh to this node so basically it will ask you password for the first time so you have to configure uh, this uh, uh, you have to configure password for the root right along with that second thing you have to uh, for the ansible side you have to do some setting in the sshd config okay so let's go ahead and let's do the two things so first we have to set the password of the root password root and i am setting password so i have given so this sss side is done okay so now what we have to do we have to do the second task that is we have to edit some of the option in the ssh hd config so once you will come here make sure that you are changing two option here so first is permit login so that is uh, by default set to prohibited password along with that is uncommented so you have to uncomment it and you have to make it yes along with that you will have permitted authentication password authentication so this is the second option so make sure that you are uncommenting this also so both are set to yes just save and quit so once this is done let's just go ahead and let's restart our server okay so what is the command service restart what is the service name okay so this is done now let's go ahead and let's start this you already started so no problem okay so once this is done we have done both of the things so we are okay with this side right so now just let's just go ahead and let's go to the master and do the settings that is needful okay so just come out of this so just press ctrl and q okay so we have left running this behind so let's just go to the docker master docker container ls now let's just go docker container attach to master right okay so this is done we came inside right so now what i have planned to do like uh, uh, first we have to do we have to make the ssh connection right so for that you have to generate the key so that is ssh key gen just hit enter once you have got this okay so you just have to copy the public id you can see here this is the location and where you will get your public key so let's copy this so this is the command okay so you have to this is the username of our second uh, second node okay so what was the ip that's why i have told you to remember this just go up okay so this is the ip of our node just right click on that okay so once this is done just hit enter so it will ask you do you want to continue just say yes okay so it is asking for the root password right that's why we have set the root password there okay so provide your password here once you will provide you can see number of keys has been added okay so you can try verifying by this command you can like ssh uh, what is the root uh, username of this node ansible node along with that you have to provide the ip here so see this time it should not ask me the password right so let's see we are inside this so earlier we were uh three zero eight three zero five four now it, you can see this is changed so we are inside the ansible node here right so let's exit from this node correct and uh, here what i have to do now 
we have to make the access ansible connection right so sss was required for the ansible so that is fine but now our task is to ping the node ansible node from the master so what we have to do we will have a ansible host here we have to configure that slash etc slash ansible slash host so just get inside that and anywhere you can read this file so that you will have a better understanding how to provide so this is the name of the group i am providing along with the node ip right uh, currently i am in the master so make sure that you are okay so this is the ip okay so i have provided the ip just control and save so i am inside the master i went to this location and i have given the ip of the ansible node right so once this is done we can tr we can try to ping right from the ansible master to the node so let's go ahead and let's try to ping ansible call the module that is ping module and provide the name whatever you gave there i think that is node right let's see okay so yeah this is the ping is successful means we have successfully established the con uh, connection between the mas ansible master and the ansible node so along with that you can provide the direct ip here okay so you can see i have given this time ip so okay so from the master you you are able to ping the must ansible node right so like this you can add multiple node you can provide the ip in this host section and you can do your labs right so we will having a uh, separate video session on how to uh, how we can learn ansible and all i will create a separate playlist so if you find my video helpful please like and if and consider subscribing if you really getting benefited from this and share with your friends that will keep me motivated to do such things for you thank you for watching thanks